the sum of three consecutive integers is negative 141. We're asked to list the numbers from smallest to largest. A list of consecutive integers is given here below. Notice how, as we list the integers from left to right, they increase by one each time. Negative six plus one equals negative five. Negative five plus one is negative four. Negative four plus one is negative three, and so on. Because of this, if we let the first consecutive integer be equal to x, the next consecutive integer would be x plus 1, followed by x plus 1 plus 1, or x plus 2. And now because we know the sum of these consecutive integers equals negative 141, we can write an equation, solve for x, then determine the consecutive integers. The equation would be x plus x plus 1, plus x plus 2 equals negative 141. Let's simplify the left side of the equation. x plus x plus x equals 3x. And 1 plus 2 equals 3. So the left side simplifies to 3x plus 3. And this equals negative 141. Now we have a basic two-step equation to solve. The first step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. To undo plus 3, we subtract 3 on both sides. Simplifying, subtracting 3 undoes plus 3, or 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have 3x equals negative 141 minus 3 equals negative 144. And now we multiply or divide to solve for x. And because 3x means 3 times x, to undo this multiplication, we divide both sides by 3. Dividing by 3 undoes multiplying by 3, so the left side simplifies to x, or 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 times x is x. So we have x equals negative 144 divided by 3. So we have a negative divided by a positive, which is negative. And now let's divide 144 by 3 here on the side. There are 4 3's and 14, 4 times 3 is 12, subtract. Bring down the next digit of 4. There are 8 3's and 24. 8 times 3 is 24. Subtract the remainder 0. So this quotient equals 48. And therefore, x equals negative 48. Because remember, we have a negative divided by a positive. So if x equals negative 48, the first consecutive integer is negative 48. The next consecutive integer would be negative 48 plus 1, which equals negative 47. And the third consecutive integer would be negative 48 plus 2, which equals negative 46. These are in order from least to greatest, or smallest to largest. So our list is negative 48, negative 47, and negative 46. The sum of these three consecutive integers is negative 141. I hope you found this helpful.